In beautiful Ottawa, Ontario, match week 17 continues in the Canadian Premier League with still top of the table, Atletico Ottawa, welcoming in Cavalry. In our Danny Marrer, Zakwa, Lieberman, Torres, Tier Walker, and Ryan Yesley. Just one change for Tommy Wilden Jr. through necessity. Charlie Trafford picked up a calf injury, so he is out of the 18 tonight. But what do the players need to do on the pitch? They are getting healthier. The squad looks very good. They've got great depth as well. But they just need to be a little bit consistent now. They had a good result against Vancouver. And Tommy Wilden's going to want to see the opportunities and chances that they have created. De Brienne a long toss. Nicely played by Sissoko. Here's Danny Marrer. Lifts it high towards the back post. It's maybe too good of a leap from Ruben Del Campo. Henri for Camargo. Trying to quickly go back to field. Didn't get the power required to reach him. Nice little pullback by Warshevsky. Here's the cross. Volling chases. You just want to try to shift them, get them out of position. Settled down by Aaron, a long distance shot again. Yesley dives. It's wet, it's slick. Test the keeper. Volley, excellent wait. Here's Camargo, waits, and is denied. Right on the doorstep. What a terrific run. Great touch here by Camargo. Didic can't touch him. The hosts have only translated that into three touches in the opposition box. De Brienne with a head of steam. He has a long range shot, and it's snared by Carducci. Beginning the second half as they had done the first, Atletico Ottawa in possession and dictating the proceedings thus far. Cavalry biding their time, waiting for a moment. Might this be it? Schoen forces the steal, gets it back from Borshevsky. Schoen into the side netting. Left foot on the left side of the goal. Shamit is in utter disbelief. Luke Singh, Amir Didic. For Ottawa, Joseph Holiday, the backup keeper. Borshevsky, Schoen, all representing the boys in blue at one point. Here's Bassett, out to challenge Dan Klopp. Does not take a touch, or if it does, it's lost off Bassett. Moosey back at this stage of the season is like a brand new signing. Just his fifth appearance in the league in Cavalry's 17th match. Figured he might hang around the dead ball. But Toby said, I got this. Barshevsky, it doesn't quite dip in time. I think when they watch this one back, the referees will actually be satisfied they got it right. Moosey on his left as he tries to curl it in. He forces an own goal. Amir Didic, his forehead to it, but it's Ali Moosey and his magical return that helps set up the first goal of the night, the first for Cavalry. And the bad luck for Atletico Ottawa continues. Two deflections and bobbles in North York last week, and an own goal off their anchor, Didich. It's the Calgarians in front in the nation's capital. I wouldn't be the one to say no to it. The Spaniard. Might it be a famous moment. Zapater, Carnegie makes the stop. Required goalkeeping from Carducci. Didic nods it along to Ali Bassett and then heads into the box to be a crossing target. Zapater, defended by Gutierrez, slips a pass in for De Brienne, the cut back, the shot, Carducci denies, the rebound though is buried by Sam Soter. Intensity from Ottawa as well. They just kept on pushing, getting forward. Moosey. De Brienne lets it slide. Moosey collects it. Moosey as Didich lunges. Moosey! He's done it! A brace in his debut back into the team. An 89th minute smash. And Cavalry are in front and probably won't look back. Oh 
What a terrific solo goal. We did say, Moosey, he can change a game. Match on the line. Zapatera lifts it high. Dedic goes hunting. Jordan flicks it back, but flicks it to Carnegie. And that should do it. That's done it. It's a huge win for Cavalry on the back of a brace from Ali Moosey and his return to the lineup. Big time performance for Tommy Wielden Jr. who struts over with some more swagger in the step to shake hands with the Ottawa staff. They survived the lightning delay. They come back with a storm of offense.